Good day. Who's that, Dad? That would be a wonderful president at the yard. All right now, here's some head for steers. Yes, Pop. Wow, the unemployment rate is so high. I can't believe how many workers are here. Look at those chairs, Pop. They're really nice. They are. Pop, we're going to the store. Can we get some new toys? Toys. And there's this new invention called the Hat Litter. You just, your cat goes to the bathroom and you just throw it away. Can we get some new toys? Please! I'm not gonna pay for these silly, the crummy toys that you silly cocky kids are concerned about in two days. And we don't even know a cat. Well, can we at least get these merry little Christmas songs, Pop? Do you know what I usually get for buying you kids' toys? Pup kiss. That's what. And all these toys in these stores are always cheesy. But, Pup, please, we live in the sixth with nothing to do. You know, if you kids don't stop whistling Dixie, I'm trying to, me trying to get you to buy toys for you guys, I'm going to flip my wig. Wow, these eggs are a whole 33 cents. I heard that the inflation rate is only 0.72%. We need to be careful with buying things. We might run out of rations. Yes, Pa. Hmm, I think I want a couple of Joey. You guys catch the bus to school. Yes, Pa. Oh. It took you guys so long. <laughs> well, we were at the store with Pa. And he would not buy us any toys at all. I really wanted this new invention, Silly Buddy. But it, and it was only one dollar, but he wouldn't buy it. I really wanted the new Slinky that was invented by some really cool guy. <coughs> and he wouldn't buy it, any toys for us at all. And it was only one dollar. He wouldn't even spend two dollars on his precious kids. He said there's no use in buying them. He's such a trip. Such a dish. Look at his dreamy style. He's a yuck, Judith. He, he's wearing a sweater vest, pants, and a tie, just like everybody else. That's just fashion. He fashion. is not a yuck. He does, at least he's not wearing khakis. Plus, his hair is like that. I think that's the finest hair trend. He's just a pain in the neck. Uh, what do you think, Susan? I refuse to involve myself in this boy fight. And plus, I already have my eyes on someone. Who? Nobody. <laughs>
Carol. Thanks. What's an invitation to everybody? Even the boy you like? Yeah. I'm gonna make jello salad for the party. I'll take a salad at the party. I'm gonna go make the, the jello salad. Okay. I'll just set up these invitations. Looks like it par is paralyzed. You won't be able to fight very well now. I'll go talk to the chief and see what he says. You're able to go home now due to your and your convincing satisfactory and military duty. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I sent out all the invitations. He'll be arriving in about 30 minutes. I have to finish the job. Stop. Let me go get out. That looks great. You know, I kind of miss having adults around. I know all they do is talk about morbid stuff, like the Nazis and the Pearl Harbor attack. But I kind of miss them. Ow! Those are not things to joke about. The Nazis killed hundreds of innocent people, and so did the Pearl Harbor attack. The Nazis are also the reason our Paul is gone right now. I wasn't joking about it. I was just saying they don't have to be so morbid about everything. The Great Fashion was last, de last decade. Plus, that really hurt. Our first guest is here. <laughs> Who is it? It's Susan. Go through the photograph on. Okay. <laughs> Watching. Uh, uh, Hobbit Theater. Aren't you a little old for that? No, no, I love that show. Well, I have some great news. Uh, please do tell. I'm coming home. I got shot, and now I'm paralyzed, and I'm unable to fight properly. So I am on the train home right now. I'll be I'm home so in the excited. Dark. I am too. I have to make a stop before I get home now. I must leave before my time is up. Tell Carol and Aunt Lou that news. Huh? Okay. If y'all don't get out, I'm gonna have to pull you out by your pretty slick back hair. Hey, you wanna go to the new movie? Hey, you wanna go to the new movie? Yeah, sure. Pause home. Hey, help.
We miss you too. I've got a gift for you. Really? Yeah, we're gonna blanket. Like Silly putties for Carol and the slinkies for Judith. Toys, Pa. That's not all of them in the blanket. Cat litter? We don't even have a cat. Go out to the car. What? I'll do it. I love cats. Where's my hello, dear brother? Lou? You're here early. Yeah, I packed and finished things up a little early. Also, keep that demon thing away from me. Do you know what cats are? Like? I despise them. How could you? Okay, pause. What should we name them anyway? Charlie. Oscar. I think Tiger. Um, what about Einstein? Shush, you don't even like cats anyway. Do you think Einstein's a cool name though? Me too. What do you think, Pa? Einstein's cool. Einstein it is then. Why do you like cats anyway? No reason, they're just really annoying and hairy and they kind of look funny. Lou's scared of them. <laughs> she always has one since she had one kill of her favorite chicken pig on the farm when she was five. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas! Thomas. No. Well, since you're staying with us perfectly, you're going to have to get over your fear. Why are you scared of cats anywhere? They're adorable. I think we can help her get over her fear, do you I think I'm thinking. I hope. Let's see it's best to face your fears. Girls, stop. Get that thing away from me. Thomas, help! Stop! Stop, Thomas, help! <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after, except for Aunt Lou. Not everyone can have a happy ending. Thank you.